Good morning. Mornings aren't pretty. That's my mood all the time. If you guys have me on Instagram, you guys know that this is literally my favorite coffee mug. I love everything about it. It's so, so nice. Fun fact also, it is not morning. It's 2.56 p.m. But if I'm barely having my cup of coffee, then it's morning to me. Welcome back to my channel. So... For today's video, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to just talk because I can talk a lot. So I'm so happy that this is why I have my channel. And if one person at least is hearing and that person, this resonates with them, with this. I need to drink more coffee, huh? <clears throat> if it can resonate at least with one person, that's all I am here for. I just want to help at least one person, whether that's with anything if that they get from any video. So... Cheers to that and let me get started. Today's video is going to be centered around a topic that I'm so passionate about and I'm going to be blabbing a lot. That's why I do have my notes here with me to help. Uh, so in case you see me looking down here, it's just to stay on track. I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste my time. Time is very precious. So yeah, if you just see me looking here, that's what this is for. And today's topic, I'm so passionate about it and I feel like I always... Okay, I'm going to give a background story to why I'm actually making this video and then it will make sense kind of thing. I got inspired from this tweet that I saw. I'm not going to put the name out and I'm just going to kind of read the tweet and then um, you guys will get the whole thing. Okay, so it says, someone told me, quotation marks, you have been in school forever. Quotation marks ended. So now I feel bad about myself because ha 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 comparison ha 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 ha. Okay, so I immediately wanted to reach out to this person and be like, boom 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 boom, like ex expressing my feelings. And I said, you know what? I'm not gonna do it because I have another friend who, actually two friends who are literally kind of in the same boat with their school, thinking that it's taking them forever, mixed emotions about school. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna make a YouTube video because this can address all of them. And then probably there's someone even out there that kind of feels the same way. And even if it's not within school, but it's still something that they feel like they are comparing themselves to another person's um, success or advancement in whatever they're doing. My opinion with school all the time is because I, I really do have someone in my close circle who kind of is a little bit older and uh, that person always does share like it's discouraging when I start a new semester and like I'm a little bit older and it's like all incoming freshmen that are straight out of high school. It's very discouraging because I feel older and I feel like, you know, and I remember like this person would always tell me that. And I always had to kind of remind that person and be like, I know how it feels because, yeah, society tells you there's an age limit that you have to have this and be married by this age and do all these things. Yeah, I know that. So I always try to remind my, my friend and, and let them know, like, dude, that literally does not even matter. If you have a goal and it's right here and you're here. And then like this, and then like this, it does not matter. All these people here or all these little thoughts in your head, because that's what it is, are going to pull you back and your goal is going to be here. So like, hello, let's keep going step by step. So I do have my favorite artist. If you guys know, his name is J. Cole. And at his last concert, I think his last tour, KOD, he he shared this little thing so i'm gonna insert the clip because even though it's so like cliche and it's so like okay that's so generic we already know that like reach for the stars type of thing it's always good to have these reminders this shit i'm about to say gotta be fat i'm gonna fuck it's a bunch of people in this room right now you got a dream you got some shit you want real bad you can't wait till this shit come you think about this shit all the fucking time Sometimes you be frustrated and look down because that shit ain't coming fast enough. Like you wanted to, sometimes you worry, damn, it's gonna come. I'm telling you, no overnight, it don't happen like that. You're gonna get there. But I'm gonna tell you how you're gonna get there. Step by fucking step. That's how this shit works. You know what I mean? Don't get discouraged. 
Just keep putting one foot in front of the fucking next. So you heard it step by step. This isn't even about school. It's not even, uh, but I'm using school as a more example because I know in my close circle, I do have a lot of people that are kind of feeling the same way um, about school sometimes or school, you know, the, the normal school's a scam, school's this, it's a waste of time, it's a waste of money. Um, you know, it's so competitive even after you obtain your degree. So I definitely get that. And those are all valid points. But another thing too about school that I feel is like, if you really need your degree, into what you want to do and if what you want to do is going to bring you some peace or some type of happiness um to your life then you are in the right path and i mean this might be selfish of me to say that i am a true believer in being passionate about what you're doing because if you do know that this is what you want to do and you want for your future then come on let's keep going i don't even know where i got this little movement probably because i got my nails done another thing i want to say too so step by step on all your goals which means that people who reach their goals i know for a fact they had to have these goals these ideas up in here probably for a really long time so i know when i got my nails done from leslie like i was talking to her and she's like an old high school friend i'll leave her ig info here her nails she's located in pomona so if you guys want to check her out she does really amazing work as you can see And um, I think the first time I went to get my nails done with her, I was like, hey, so like, you think about this like for a long time before you actually did your nail page, you know, on IG. And I think, don't quote me if you're watching this, she might have said yes. I, I'm, I'm assuming she did say yes. She's like, yeah. I mean, I don't want to say what she said because I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure she did say yes. And that proves right there. Like, do you know how many other nail pages there are? There, you know as of covid have came up and if she really did probably have this idea in her head from like beforehand because she's i know she has done nails like even before covid so <clears throat> it just puts it, it really does show you like okay this person probably has so many doubts or probably fears of oh well there's so many other pages um or covid shut down like how are people going to feel comfortable because she's home base how are people going to feel comfortable coming you know you you want you probably can put up so many excuses of why you're gonna fail but as soon as you take that first step it just starts getting easier to keep on moving forward and keep on going and keep on pushing and then look at her now she's making a customer happy i was really content with my nails i told her how i wanted them and she delivered it and she did it all through practice and practice and step by step and she's still learning she she's still like she's very humble about that too so i think that's so beautiful another example um i could think of well let me get a sip another example i could think of is just i do have a lot of friends who want to start businesses want to start um their clothing line want to start a coffee shop what else i have my other friend oh my friend wants to buy a home like all of you guys can do that and the sucky thing is like ugh, we're our biggest critics i know we are we're our biggest critics we're our biggest and that's so dangerous because we're right here just like she did kind of wear her nail thing I kind of see myself in that way too because I know for a long time I was like I want to start a YouTube channel you know and literally when I realized I literally realized it one day I wake up call I'm like oh my gosh I'm literally gonna do it because I'm I really want to do it I'm gonna do it I don't know if that makes sense but um it took me a whole entire year to actually say okay you know what I'm gonna just make a channel and that was my very first step creating the channel that's when i was like okay i did the channel and then my next step um i created like the little banner art and look at me now this is probably my fifth video so that right there shows you i know it's so hard i know we think about things so much but look at the product i'm happy if i help someone else i am more than happy with my youtube channel and that's what i did so it's so beautiful and it's kind of so crazy how life works like we have all this time but we kind of don't at the same time i've always said that i know it sounds so weird but i'm always like time is all we have to do and work and pursue our goals but then time is also what we don't have because if we well i guess 
I can say, you know, we don't use it wisely. Now, trust me when I say it is way easier said than done because like I just mentioned, I took about a whole year when I really, that whole year, I really knew that I was going to start a YouTube channel. I just said, oh, I'm pushing it, I'm pushing it, I'm pushing it. So I've been there. I know what it is. Like, I, I know how it feels. But another thing I do want to bring out, I think a lot of what comes from that fear is society because at a young age we have been taught we have been rewarded we have been you know gifted these privileges line leader these little you know gift cards and stuff like that we've been conditioned to applaud and and reward each achievement when you win when you succeed so consequently that product is okay if we fail then we're looked at so wrong we're we're discarded type of thing in society and that's what we've been conditioned so i feel like looking at it from that perspective i'm like you know what that's exactly why we fear so much to fail to make mistakes to to not succeed to mess up once when in reality that right there is literally gonna help us become and learn from our mistakes and and become great by knowing what not to do next time by taking the step the next time and applying whatever you learned from that mistake onto there and then so forth so yeah i feel like when i have my kids i'm good no like we're we're celebrating your failures too so if they fail um wow well, i'm gonna be a mom one day Anyways, that's besides the point, but let me get back to my notes because look at me. I'm over here getting distracted again. Sorry. I could just talk a lot and I'm drinking coffee, so that's the worst. I feel like I have so much more to say, but I guess not. But back to the tweet that I saw, you know, the reason why I made this video. School, I, I think school could be a whole other topic because I have so much to say about the education system right now. Um, but it's just... I don't want to like you know venture out so much but back to that tweet like i think i'm going to reach out to you maybe so you can see this video f i don't like to cuss f a comparison f these timelines that we place in our head you are going to do great because i believe in you yeah this is kind of a little reminder that we can achieve anything if we truly do have faith in ourselves and once you believe it literally mentally i feel like our mental is so important that's why it's like we are our biggest critic and we live right here when we're seeing when we're putting these things out i think i was telling someone the other day like i came across a quote that said um whenever your anxiety kicks in literally stop and ask who said that and if you don't have a name for it then keep it going because you're the one saying it you get me so, so yeah let me just wrap it up by saying whatever goal you have small big dream whatever it is if you've had it in your mind for a couple of months now that means it's something you really desire and i feel like you have the ability right now and trust me a year from now you're gonna be like wow look who would have thought look at us look at us huh who would have thought not me imagine learning from these small mistakes versus not even starting i want so, to help at least one person because i have failed too in many things and that i've learned also from them and i will continue to keep on learning so i feel like if i can at least help you with that and share my experiences then that's why i created this channel so please subscribe if you are not subscribed yet i appreciate every one of you guys shout out to my new subscribers too and i i wanted to share some exciting news drum roll please i now figured out my little schedule with school and stuff so i kind of manage my time now with school and um work so i'm like at week seven now so i have like 10 more weeks to go for school but i now get the rhythm of the class you know after you take the first midterms it's like okay that's the midterm now i know how to prepare myself for all the other exams coming up so now that i have that situated i do want to announce that i will be posting every wednesday so stay tuned for that 
please subscribe so you guys don't miss a video and i will see you guys next wednesday wish you peace and so much love bye